Hey there, YouTubers. This is SchoolZen57 and my main man... IRS Dude. IRS Dude. And we are here for what should we call it, IRS Dude? A Sunday showcase? Um, uh... Yeah. You sure you're hesitating a little bit? Uh, is that... Yeah. yeah, you sure you're positive? Okay, Sunday showcase. Because uh, mom's doing what right now? Napping. Mom's napping. So, is it a good time for us to bust out some die cast, right? Okay. Let's tell our friends what we're going to be looking at today. We're looking at some Tomika what? Um, basics. Tomika basics. I think this is our first time doing basics. I don't think we've opened up really any Tomika basics, have we? Yeah. Yeah. So these are going to be pretty cool. We have, uh, do we have seven regular cars? Um, I think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seven regular cars, which include, I think, wait, three Ferraris or four Ferraris? Um. One, two. Three. Three Ferraris. Okay. One Toyota Supra. Do we have any Lambos? Um, yes, we have one Lambo. Ooh, one Lambo. Is that a Huracan? I think it's a Huracan. Yeah. Okay, cool. And we actually have uh, two American cars. What two American cars do we have, IRS? Um, we have a Corvette ZR1 Sweet. and a Camaro. Yes. Or some people might call it a ZR1. Yeah. Right? Yes, our friends out there in uh, other countries. Yeah, ZR1. But... Stay tuned, friends, because we don't only just have that. We also have, let's move this guy out of the way, RS dude, a special we what? We also have the GTR 50th anniversary four-pack. Four-pack, right, dude? That's going to be pretty sweet. Yeah. So, we're going to get in, get close, put our cards up over on our famous Laguna Seca centerpiece, and we definitely want them to do what, IRS dude? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Boom! All right, YouTube friends, this is Schools N57 and Iris Dude. And we are back and we are ready to get up close with some Tomika Basics. Okay, Iris Dude, you want to start first? Sure. All right, let's show everybody what we're going to do first. Oh, let's set that one over on Sega there. What are we, we going to do? Okay, that is the Lamborghini Huracan, Huracan. And an orange, I think, right? Yeah. Okay, number 34. Let's do it. Let's check it out. Little team effort. Good job. Now we have not, have we even uh, opened these up yet, Iris dude? No. No, we've taken the plastic off the outside the cellophane, but we have not. Oh, it's so actually in the bag. Oh, it's actually in the bag bag. All right. Oh, we'll rip that one up. Okay, there you go. That's good to know. No, we haven't oh, opened it's a any. Matte. Oh, it's a matte finish. Hey, that's really cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's actually. Super cool. Yeah. I didn't even expect that at I, all. I didn't expect that either. That's kind of a nice surprise. Yeah, I yeah. wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's really cool. That actually kind of looks, in my opinion, kind of better than like the Hollywood Spectre flame on this Lambo. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice finish. So, um, do we have suspension on basics? I think um, we do, don't we? Yeah. You want to give it the old suspension test? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Totally. Now, on the uh, basics, we do have a plastic base. But we do have some pretty cool detail. I think because this is the Performante, it has a stripe down there in the Italian colors. Can you see that IRS, dude? Yep. It has the, uh, the red, white, and green, green stripe. That's really cool. We have some gold trim around the wheels. These are the ba uh, one of the two sets of basic wheels that Tomika Basic uh, could come with. Now, you don't have a lot of detail that you would expect like in a premium. Or, or a TLV. Yeah, or a TLV. So nothing in the rear really, but you do, look at that, you do have access. It's clear in the back, you can see the what, IRS dude? Oh, and that you can see the engine. Yeah, they're rear engine, so you can see the engine. That's really cool. And how about the front? You wanna turn around and take a look at the front? Yeah. All right, so it looks like we probably have some tampos, right? Yeah, but those because are... it doesn't have inserts right, like, yeah. the, um, like the premium. premiums or the TOVs. Yeah. Dude, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the matte finish on that, that's a winner. Oh, yeah, I'm loving that. Okay, want to put that over to your side for right now, Iris, dude? You know this is the first one. It's probably going to be my favorite. You think so? You're already predicting. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, you're predicting your favorite? One mm. of these might be Okay, my favorite. well, yeah. How about we'll do a favorite GTR, and we'll do a favorite of the regular basics we have here. Sure. Okay, let's do it. Double, double favorites. All right. Dad's going to start with the LaFerrari. Okay, and this is in 162 scale. Uh, what scale was the Huracan, Iris, dude? Also 162. Okay, cool. All right, it says right here on the box, and this is number 62. So let's take this puppy out. 
It's going to be in a bag again, isn't it, IRS, dude? Yeah. Oh, this one looks pretty big, honestly. Yes, okay, this one is not sealed, though. Check it out. This one's going to roll right yeah. out. Ah, perfect. I don't know why this one That is cool. Let's see down there. Huh, that is really, really cool. So, this is the LaFerrari. That is glossy. Oh, wait a second. Now, this is interesting because Tomika, Tomika Basics can vary quite a bit. There's some differences. So, what's this one have for the headlights, Iris, dude? Um, it has a plastic piece. I think it has plastic inserts, right? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Look at that. We have the Lamborghini. As I said, Lamborghini. Oopsie daisy. We have the Ferrari uh, logo the emblem on the front and on the sides. Want to give it the suspension test? Sure. Oh, oh yeah. Tiny, tiny. Just a little bit. Tiny bit. Well, LaFerrari, pretty low to the ground, right? Pretty yes. slick. In the back, are those painted? Or are those inserts? We'll have to get a little I closer. I think those are inserts. They look like inserts. It's like plastic like inserts. inserts. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really cool. So there's a few differences between the Lambo around this and uh, this LaFerrari already. That's cool. And these are pretty, they feel really hardy. Like you could totally play with these higher huh, dude. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Okay, shall we do the next one? All right, let's move it to the side. Let's go for it. What are you going to do? Okay, um, I think I'm going to do the Toyota Supra. Okay, GR Supra. Yeah. We haven't seen any of these new ones in real life yet, have we? I don't think so. No, nah, we see a lot of BRZs and uh, Toyota 86s, but we haven't seen any of these Supras yet. Okay, let's see if this bag is sealed. Oh, the Lamborghini went for a crash course. That's okay. That's all right. We'll put them all together when we're all done. Got it? All right, let's see if this bag's okay, sealed. Okay, not sealed. Not sealed? Can you, you can roll that one out? Now, in hey. real life, this Supra was made in a partnership with BMW. Oh. So the new BMW Z series uh, shares the same platform. So that means it sh shares the same, like, frame and chassis kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. So that's really interesting. Okay, this has a really... What about the color on this one, Iris, dude? Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a lot darker. And let's see if we compare it to the uh, LaFerrari, right? So we have a yeah. like a deep like lipstick red almost. All right, let's give him the rundown. What's the front look like, Iris, dude? Um, Inserts, front... painted, tamples, what do you think? Paint, painted. Painted, definitely painted, definitely. right? Mm -hmm. We got some painted detail on there. We have the Toyota emblem in the front. Yep. Right, okay, cool. Uh, let's see, hey, these windows, they're not clear, what are they? They're um, tinted. They're tinted. They're blacked out. I wonder if there's an interior in there. No, I can see an interior. Yeah, yeah I, I definitely see. see I definitely I can see, see that. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I have on the rear. Um, rear. Um, painted also. Painted. I think so. You can also, these definitely have more um, detail than regular Hot Wheels. Let's say they actually, they do tend to have more detail than the regular Hot Wheels. Well, it is Tomika and right. Tomika. Tomika does, uh, they do impress. I would agree with you, IRS dude, right? Yeah, these are some pretty detailed um, basics. Yeah, and if you um, were Japan or somewhere else in Asia where you might buy these, um, you know, regularly, this would be, you know, one of those cars that's very playable, right? Yeah. So this is, this is pretty uh, equivalent to our basic Hot Wheels. Yeah, these are really hard. I like that a lot. Okay, want to put that over on your side? Sure. All right, let's put your box, the box over there too. And that was number 117. Oh, also we forgot to say it's new for 2019. Well, because the Super is coming out this year, so I guess that yeah. makes sense, huh? Okay, I'm going to do the Enzo. All right. Uh, I remember we watched a show on, I think, uh, an Enzo Enzo, a famous Enzo Ferrari, right? In Malibu, that crashed and broke in half. Do you remember that show we watched? That was pretty wild. Okay, this one is also new for 2019. It is number 11. It is, is it 162 scale, Iris, dude? Um, yeah. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's a little bit bigger than 164. All right, let's see if this one is sealed or if it's going to roll out like the other ones. You want to help your dad here? Sure. Take, take that puppy out of there. Okay, I... it's not... Oh, is it? Oh, it is. Is no. it? No. Let's see. It's oh, I think not. you can roll it out. You want to roll it out? Oh, careful. Oh, man. Okay, there you go. I don't want it to break in half. Like <laughs> you don't want it to one. break in half. Well, we're not hitting a telephone pole at 200 miles an hour, so we're probably yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. So, the amazing thing about that story was the people who were in it survived. That was yeah. locked out. That is amazing. Okay. 
So we have definitely inserts on the front, right? Yep. We have that really awesome fighter jet looking front end on the Enzo, which yeah. is spectacular. Oh, you know what this makes me think of, IRS dude? We have the Ford versus Ferrari movie coming out. Oh, yeah. In like two weeks, right? Ooh. Where we have the story of... That's going to be awesome. Yeah. Ford with Carroll Shelby, right? Ken Miles and all those guys going against uh, Ferrari. Yeah, that's going to be interesting to see that movie. We're pretty pumped. All right. On the side, uh, we have the Ferrari emblem on the side. You want to turn around and look at the rear, Iris, yeah, dude? Yeah, sure. Um, those are actually painted. Yeah, those are painted. You're yeah. right. Because that's part of the casting. We have those kind of those bulbous marks for the taillights. Those are part of the casting. The diffuser looks pretty good. Yep. It's pretty cool. They still have a little prancing horse that's painted in the back. Yeah. That's pretty neat. And then uh, it's hard to see on the camera, but you can't actually see the engine. Uh, it's black. It's not highly detailed, but you can, can see. Can you see? see you can see the engine oh, through the top. I can see it. Yeah. This one kind of has a some, tiny bit. Tiny bit. Yeah, you can see it. Because um, it's actually black. That's cool. Here, suspension. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. That's pretty neat. I guess, dude, you want to pick, pick that up? That's pretty heavy, man. Oh, to me, wow. That, to me, that, that actually is. Does that feel, that feels heavier than a standard Hot yeah, Wheels, doesn't that it? That feels heavy. You no, know, we haven't done well, any, any rolling tests. Heavier than, <laughs> heavier than some regular Hot Wheels. Yeah, true. Okay, that's cool. Man, I like that. That's awesome. All right. I'm thinking that might take, uh, that might be my favorite for right now. Okay, let me move the box. All right, dude, you're up. Okay, remember the grand finale are those GTR, so let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Oh, you're kind of risking that Corvette sitting back there. Let me move that for you. Okay, let's tell our friends out there first before we open it, though, RS2. What is this one? Um, It's the uh, 8, I mean, the 4A8 GTB. GTB. Yes, and it's also 162 scale. Yep. So far, I think they've all been what? Um, 162. 162 scale. That means if they all drove next to each other, they would be in the same scale as they would be in real life. Okay, this one's going to roll out. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, cool. Oh, there you go. A little push. Okay, you look at that one, Iris, dude. Tell our friend. What do you see um, on that one? I you see the, the reins on that. Ferrari symbol um, on the front fender. Cool. Awesome. What um, else do we see? Want to turn to the front? Yes. Yeah, sure. Let's look at the front. Also see the Ferrari symbol in the um, front um, I'm pretty sure we have inserts. For yeah, those. you know, I'm noticing a lot of inserts for the yeah. Ferraris, right? That seems to be a pattern, okay? Because only the Ferraris we've looked at have had. Check it out, the plastic. Yeah. Inserts. We everyone can see that, and they do. The three of those have all have plastic inserts. Okay. So even in Tomica Land, Ferraris are held up to a higher standard. Yes. Okay. Cool. What else do we have in there? Let's look at the back IRS, dude. Um. Inserts for the back. Oh, let's see. Well, I think that's painted and then. I think you're right. It might be part of the side. casting. I like how they painted. Did they paint the black in there a little bit? Or I wonder yeah, if that's part of the interior. Man, that's pretty cool. And if you look really, really carefully, I don't know if you can see it on camera, it does have Ferrari on the back of the window. And you can see the engine also once again. That's cool. Man, I'm liking these basic Ferraris. Give the old suspension test there, buddy. Oh, that's, that's close. Pretty close, right? Okay, pretty minimal for a Ferrari. That's a Nord Ferrari. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's see. Wait, did Dad open that one? No, that's yours. Put that on your side. Okay. All right, Dad's next. Um, okay, tell me. What do you want? What do you, want? you want me to do the Camaro? Yeah. You want to do the ZR1? Yeah. I kind of figured that. Okay, friends. Now this, oh, actually, this one is 166 scale. So it's going to be a little bit smaller than 164. Okay. And this is a pretty old guy because <laughs> um, it says new for 2017. You're right. 2017 is pretty old, IRS, dude. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That means you would have been like a whole like six years old. Yeah. yeah. You, were, you were young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Now, this is our Chevy Camaro. Of course, we love American muscle cars. So we are pretty excited to get a couple of American cars in here also. Hey, wait a minute. Do I see opening doors on this vehicle or am I mistaken? No, I don't think the box. Oh, oh, That's oh. a pleasant surprise. Does it, oh, you got to open it both, dude. Open the door for dad. If you're going to drive, you're taking me with you, son. Okay, there we go. 
Sweet. Dude, what that's cool. What I keep cool. noticing about these is it keeps looking like it has rubber because it's making it look like um, the wheel is separate from the other Oh, part. sure. They do a really good job because I think these wheels might still be two-piece wheels. I believe they are two-piece wheels. I could be incorrect yeah. on that. Our friends at YouTube line can correct me. Um, hey, this didn't even say. Now, on the premium, it'll tell you if it has opening parts. This box did not tell us that it had any opening parts, did it, Yeah, Iris, I don't dude? think the um, basics yeah. tell you that. So that was a legit... I think they just leave it as a surprise. That was a legit surprise for us. Okay. Well, hey. as Hot Wheels do. Sure, true. Hey, I'm going to close this. Dude, that is rad. Okay, wait a minute. Does it have a metal base? Oh. No. Mm. Okay, no. No. But it's just so heavy. I looked like it for a second. Well, you know what? American muscle cars are pretty heavy. Oh. Pick that up and tell me what oh. you think. Since the doors are open. You no. think that makes it a little heavier? No windows. Okay. Hey, why don't you lift it up, Iris, dude? I think that one, does that feel pretty heavy to you? Oh, wow. Right? That is pretty heavy. Dude, that's cool. Okay. That's I'll... like heavy as a Hot Wheels premium to me. Actually, you're right. I was thinking the same thing. Uh, let's see. We painted detail for the front. We have the Chevy bow tie. We have the headlights, the parking lights, or the uh, driving um, lights. How about in the rear? It says something on the um, hood. I, you yeah. know what I think it says? We've seen a couple in town lately. Here we live. ZL. ZL1. ZL1. Yep. I believe this is a ZL1. does not say that in the box, but I believe, friends, this is a, supposed to be a ZL1. If I'm wrong, I apologize, but it looks like it does say ZL1. Looks pretty cool. Or is it 1LE? No, no, no. Is it 1LE? I can't even tell. I'll oh, we'll have to look at it. Okay, anyway. That's all right. We don't want to spend too much nope, time. No, that's Z01. Is that what it says? Oh, yeah. you have better eyes than I do. Okay, sweet. Suspension looks good. The wheels look a little smallish on here because the basic wheels, but still, yeah. man, that feels like something you could play with and uh, really have a lot of fun with. Okay, we're going to let you do the honors on the what? The Corvette. On the Corvette. Let's go to the honors, well, dude. Not the big honors. No. Well, you have the honors on the smaller car, or on the, uh, the first group. All right, let's do this. Okay, this one is in 164 scale. Well, not the big honors to us. True, we do. We really like the, uh, oh, it's a rollover test. Hope he's got a good roll bar in there. Oh, look at this one. This one's also what? Sealed. Totally sealed. Okay. Let's see if we can rip this open real quick. All right, I'm going to let you do the rest, buddy. Here, I'll hold the bag. You got it? Oh. Make sure he doesn't fall off the table. Okay. Check this out. Um, Look at this. Hmm. This one's got some nice stuff going on. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but we have opening doors. Boom. We have inserts. We have inserts. We have a super clear windshield. Inserts in the back. Inserts in the back. Say what? Wow. Wow. Look inserts at the wheel. Both in the front. Right. And Interior the looks back. pretty sharp in the front and back. Okay, they're not messing around. They are putting this ZR1 up in uh, supercar territory, aren't they? Yeah. Which kind of makes sense, because in real life, a ZR1 is a super awesome performer. Close wow. to a supercar. Well, it's, it's, it, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and call it an American supercar. Are you with me? We've got yeah. an American supercar in here. We, of course, are pumped to have the C8 coming out pretty soon. Check that out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that color. That graphite's really neat. All right, Dad's going to give the suspension test. Oh, ZR1's got... Just a little bit of suspension movement. Okay. That's one that I would want to drive on Laguna Seca for sure. Yeah. Yep. I would hustle that down the corkscrew. That is sweet. Wow. That, I wasn't surprised with that one. Pretty good track day car. Right. Exactly. Maybe when mom wakes up for her nap, we can talk to her about that. <laughs> no way, Jose. It's okay. It's all right. Just kidding. That would be your dad's. Oh, that's mine. Oh, is that yours? Okay. All right. Let's put that on your side. Oh, I just love that Corvette. I was going to take it. Okay. All right. We'll put those back around Seca for the grand finale, but it is time, Iris, dude. It what is, is it time, time for? time for the GTRs. Now, we may... Um, it is time. Yes. This is a little bit bigger box, so we might be off screen on this one a little bit. Uh, yeah, maybe just a little bit. So uh, we'll try and get those out of there. So let's see. Yeah, I think it says... Oh. Okay, RS dude, shall we do it? Yeah. All right, this is pretty slick. So, um, this box is pretty special. Um, that's not the camera. The uh, GTR taillights are a little bit blurry, probably because it's going so fast. Yeah. You can't take any pictures of it, right? They look blurry. But inside, 
we have four different GTRs. So we have a 2000 GTR uh, PGC-10. We have a uh, R32 brand black. Mm -hmm. And we have two R35s. We have the 50th anniversary uh, GTR. And then we have the Nismo 2020 yeah. model. That is pretty sweet. Okay. And then if you come down here, we'll show you the box. Uh, unfortunately, IRS student dad do not read Japanese, although that would pretty be pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not sure who the gentleman is on here. Maybe one of the designers of the, uh, the R35. But very, very cool box. Um, and this, again, has basics. So let's see. The side also shows you the four skylines that are in there. Oh, it also shows you the back right here. Let's see. Oh, and it shows you the rear of the cars. That's pretty neat. Good call, IRS, dude. Okay. Should we take them out? Let's take them out, and then we'll zoom in. Okay. Let's do it. Now, we did sneak a peek at these, yes. right, earlier, because we were pretty excited. And let's see if we've got the right side. There we go. We couldn't wait. Okay, we, we couldn't, couldn't wait. wait. We don't want to mess this box up on this one. Let me try. Don't don't let it be like the Chevy screw. Oh, never gonna live. Are. Never gonna live down those uh those Chevys. Oh, anyway. shoot, you're okay, okay, all right, right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Got a little bit. Got a little bit. Everyone, stay calm. Okay. Everyone's cool. Everyone's cool. Okay. Let's see, RS dude. We're gonna really go on there. This one well. They did pack it very well, didn't they? Oh, this is taped to the box. Okay. We'll leave that What's right there. Here? Uh, probably some instructions that we can't read. <laughs> Okay, now we already know the order of the cars, so let's, let's just take them out. All right, let's take all four of them out. I think this one is the oldest. The older 2000? Yeah, I Second think you're oldest. right. Um, fourth oldest. Okay, let's see. Well, Third I think oldest. the last two are 2020s. All right, let's do this, Iris, dude. Let's unbag them, put them all four together, and then we'll zoom in and go kind of one by let's one. Let's put them in order, because I think okay. this let's, one... Let's leave it right there. Let's open that one. Here. These are rolling really easily. Yeah. We'll take a look at them one one by one. Oh, I already see something I, on this I, guy. I see it too on a couple of them. Okay, let's put the 2000 right here. Oh, I see. I think I see it on this guy too. Okay. Oh, All right. Yeah. So, shall we? Uh, yeah. Is that like a pearl? I'm loving this already. Well, let's get the camera. Yeah, this is a pearl. I, I think you might be right. Let's get the camera a little bit closer. So, let's just. Uh, Zoom into these and take a closer look, shall we? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna start first off with the uh, the GTR to the 2000, right? Okay. Yep. Let's see. That is kind of a uh, what would you call that color, Iris, dude? I don't know. Like a really, really brown? almost like a deep reddish purple kind of color. I mean, you almost want to say it's brown. Do you think it's got a little bit of brown going on? I don't know. Yeah. Anyhow, this has, okay, this kind of is uh, built to a high standard also, of course, with the, uh, we've got some detail in the front with some inserts, got the blacked out grill, uh, we have the painted bumper in the front and the rear, really kind of has that cool old school look, like it should, painted in the rear for the taillights, and it has the, uh, well, it's like they're trying to use the style, the, the older, this is the other style of Tomiko wheels. Um, that are in the basic line. So yeah. these kind of fit the car. These look a little bit older also, don't they? I think they kind yeah. of do. Plastic base. Okay. Really, really, really neat. Man, that's super cool. Okay, very cool. A little bit of suspension. Good roller. Okay. That's the first one. All right, Steve, do you want to do the next one? Sure. Okay, go for it. Which one? So um, this is... Um, I forgot what year it was. Yeah, I don't think it labels all the years, but this is an R what? Um, R32? Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, R32. R32. Mm -hmm. Um, it has pretty cool lens details for the turning signals. It does, right? I think there's yeah. inserts on the front of this one, too. That's really cool, and... But I think there are two inserts, because I don't know how they would... Oh, the no, different color plastic? Half. Yeah, you might be right. Yeah, it I could don't be... know how they would dye the other half. You're right, dude. It could be two separate pieces of plastic. Yeah, you might be also, right, Iris, dude. this is one of the cars we were seeing that had opening doors. Yeah, this one, we could tell when we first took them out of the box. Yeah. Yeah. 
That is really neat. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is really cool. I think this is like a maybe light, dark, navy blue. Like it is. On camera, it almost looks like black, but it's a really, really dark navy blue. blue. Yeah, like a navy blue. Good job, Iris, dude. That is slick. Okay, I want to get the suspension test? Sure. Yep. Oh, pretty good suspension, suspension movement on that one. Okay, cool. How about how about the old roller test? Rolls pretty good. Rolls pretty good. Cool. How about drifting? drifting. <laughs> we'll give the drifting test. Bye -bye. Tandem drift. Just kidding. Okay, we'll pull that to the side. All right, we'll put that on your side. Got it? Yep. All right, cool. Is it Dad's turn? Yep. Okay. We're getting down to the end. All right, I'm almost getting a little bit sad. Okay. This is oh, the 50th. All right, all right. You're right. You're right. I shouldn't be. Okay. We have the uh, R35. This is the 50th anniversary edition, okay, with some special library. So let's see. This one also has opening doors. So let's have Dan do that this time. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. This is the second one that we noticed. That we noticed it has opening doors. Interior is gray, okay. Uh, we have detail for the vents on the hood. Like I was saying, I mm -hmm. think this one has a white pearl. It does have a, a white pearl to it. Kind of like the skyline. Yeah, good job, buddy. Yeah, it definitely does. That's really cool. And we have inserts on the uh, headlights, right? Plastic inserts. That's a painted detail for the grill. The side, it's nice and clean. And the rear we have uh, just some paint detail for the tail lights. And I'm trying to figure out, I think that says 50th anniversary. I don't think that's paint detail. Are you yeah. sure? I don't know, little man. I think that might be, I think it might be painted. Oh. I think the little. Oh, I see it. Yeah, the, that might just part of the casting, how they dip in for the tail lights. But it does say 50th anniversary in super small script. That's pretty crazy. Cool. Man, that is sharp. Kind of like it says 50th anniversary, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. In that cursive script. Okay, cool. All right, Iris, dude. Last one, and then we're going to put them all together. Yep. Okay, what do you have? Okay, this is the. Uh... It's an R35, but what edition yeah. is that? Um, hmm. What's that big old sign that your dad has in the garage? It starts with an N. Nismo. 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 Mm -hmm. This is the Nismo edition. Uh, let's look over it. Okay, this is yours, Iris. Do tell me about it. Let's yeah. See. Um. So, um, it has that black. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Yeah, I don't know if the Nismo edition maybe has some vents over the hood. It almost yeah. looks like an. an uh something over the fenders yeah yeah looks right like that. Mm -hmm. yep um i don't think there's i don't think there's supposed to be fender flares but maybe some sort of vent yeah um a black stripe on the bottom oh, yeah it has black on the bottom oh and a little red detail on with it also yeah see a little nismo yeah with the nismo library they usually do a little bit of a, a red stripe on there that's pretty cool it's hard to see because the car is red okay how about the back rs dude um the back i believe those are painted yeah i think you're right i think those are painained okay that's really cool you, st you still have that nismo stripe going all the way around there do you see yeah. it that's pretty neat that's pretty cool um how about the roof i think they're trying yeah. to make it look like it's what a convertible not a convertible but carbon fiber i think, it's, I think they're fiber. trying to make it look like it's carbon fiber okay i don't know a whole lot about the r35 nismo in real life that may be carbon fiber for the roof. That's pretty cool. Sorry to all my Nissan buddies out there that I don't know that for sure. Um, suspension? Yep. Boom. Good stuff. Okay. IRS dude, I think that's it. Okay. Well, let's get these all together, IRS dude, and do a final little gathering of all the super awesome Tomika basics that we have. Um, let's go ahead and let's put the other cars that we got maybe in the back. Let's do that. Let's put, let's put the Ferraris maybe in the back. See, and what do you think? The GTR is in the front? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's awesome. Let's see. So, yep, I'm gonna have my Enzo back here. No, I love my Enzo. Then maybe we'll pick which one that we each like the best. All right, let's go for it. Uh let's see. Oh yeah, that's the that's the matte Lamborghini Aventador. Now I don't know if we can see that super there, Iris dude. Let's maybe put that over here. Um wanna put it next to the Lambo. You know what? We might actually have to put the GTR and some of the other cars in front. Yeah, let's just do it. That's okay. That's not a big deal. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, right here. GTR, GTR, R32, R35. Ooh, I think we just have too many cars, dude. What do you think? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think so. Oh, sure are these. We're gonna put the Skyline 2000 and, ooh, okay, I know. I don't know if we can fit them all in here. You wanna squeeze them in the back? Maybe. Well, we are gonna pick our favorites. So, I don't know if you can see the Camaro there. Probably not, let's put the Camaro here. Okay, let's just do this. There they all are. Iris, dude, can you believe? I think we just did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 cars, dude. That might be our all-time high. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Well, friends, I think we're going to pick our favorites real quick. Iris, dude, which one is your favorite? I think I know which one your favorite is. I think it's this one. Really? This was the, um, what's it called? Okay, let's move this to the side. Nismo. This that was, was the Nismo, Nismo R35. Right. You're yeah. right. Okay, why don't you pull that one to the side? I'm going to go with, man, this is tough. Honestly, I think I'm going to go with the ZR1. I think I was the most pleasantly surprised. We'll move these guys to the side a little bit. Yeah, we'll just kind of put these guys back here and make some room. I think I was the most surprised and really happy about the ZR1. All right, cool. Do you want to put your R35 right there in the front? Sure. And I think we better go ahead and uh, sign out, my man. So, Friends, we want to thank you for joining us. We want to thank you for spending this time and looking at some really awesome Tomica Basics. Um, as you can see, we have a good range of vehicles here, including some American. Uh, we have some Italian. We have some European. And, uh, of course, we have our classic uh, Japanese set that we enjoy very much, our 50th anniversary GTR set. We hope you enjoyed watching this today. And this is SchoolZim57 signing out and saying thank you. And my man, Iris, dude. All right, take care.